So, in my previous video, I have shown you how to do different ways of getting environment lighting, brightening up certain things such as the walls and everything, right? And you will often use the ambient color uh, skybox and there will be no skybox material. This doesn't necessarily give you a very good result. So here you have a scene, I have a smooth surface wall material just for the you know just for example purposes and i have a metallic surface uh, smooth this one a metallic very quickly just a side to it and an environment so pretty simple now what i would want would normally do i would um, download a hdr skybox from a website in this case i would probably just quickly use hdri haven and I would drag and drop the sky box or the SDR box into the scene. And it looks kind of like this. And then I would make sure it's a cube. Uh, normally I would adjust certain things according to my need, but this should work in this quick example. I will do O2, make it a cube so it can be registered in a new material. To save time, I will do Control D, which is duplicating this material, and I will call it sky box two. And then I will go to shader, I will go to skybox, and I will use cube map. If I choose six sided, I would go here and I would have done a six frames layout if I had the proper settings and preparation for it. But we have a cube map, so I just drag and drop, and you can see I now have a functional cube map. Pretty straightforward. I will drag and drop the sky map into the skybox material, and you can already see the results it's pretty heavy it's pretty it's a lot better it does definitely makes the difference okay and you can do a quick uh, quick bake just to make sure that if you have the setting that's meant for baking you'll see it's uh, baking the shadows and the walls a bit more better and you can see it's catching the environment and you can see it's trying to replicate the environment for that now normally you also want to do a light reflection probe and you would normally try and add a reflection probe in the area that's in focus so you can see there's something is happening already when i do that because it's not fully baked and you could surround it like this or you could surround it a bit more if needed uh, it really depends but we won't go into full contacts i will do a 512 and i will bake it and you can see the reflection is pretty strong because it's, you know, it's pretty strong light coming in this daylight. There are different ways of solving this. Uh, normally, I will just reduce the intensity. So I will focus on the intensity and I will reduce it down to the intensity I want. And there you go. This is how I would sort out my environment basic reflection. The first thing I normally would do if I was on my own project and I have full control is making sure that I have the right time of day on my skyboxes. That said, this is the skybox. You can obviously also rotate it. And if you do rotate it, because I'm baking the sky map, just make sure that you bake the lighting again. You can also reduce or increase, increase the exposure so you can get different detail of it okay and then you would have to do a quick bake to get the light map and the lighting to be sorted out a little bit better right and that's it so i hope you like these videos again i'm making these videos for the unity discord server where i'm spending uh, you know an hour a week or more helping people and also because i'm aware of a lot of the people there are younger than 18 years old and they don't necessarily have uh, the necessary skills to look up information or what to ask so i'm being pretty open in terms of passing on these basic things so thank you for watching and have a nice day